Hello, my name is Jentel Bibat and I am participation coach at UCLL in Belgium uh, for the Leuven region. At UCLL, we generally interpret um, student participation as uh, something very broad, as almost anything uh, can fall under this term. Roughly speaking, we look at student participation from two perspectives, um, formal and informal. Formal student participation is rather strict and a bit more organized, whereas informal student participation can include short-term engagements, uh, interest-based engagements, or project-oriented uh, engagements. And more importantly, it's always a bottom-up movement. <clears throat> I have the feeling this informal approach of student engagement is uh, a bit more inclusive because it lowers thresholds and it allows each student to participate or engage in a way that is possible for them personally, without many or any obligations. Um, moreover, nowadays, even the more formal student associations allow some flexibility. Um, a student can join one meeting from the student council if they think what's on the agenda is relevant for them, but can uh, not join the next one. Um, they nowadays more and more try to attract all types of students um, by, by having open calls sent out, by publishing the invitation and the agenda online. Um, participation is without any further obligation and we also offer coaching, trainings and support for students who want to become a student rep who are, or who are interested in joining the student council. Um, by allowing, supporting, facilitating and even encouraging all these initiatives like the formal and informal ones, UCLL shows appreciation to all kinds of engagement. Uh, since as a school, we also realize that we are very dependent on one hand on our student reps to let us know what students think. Um, but also on the other hand, on our associations to create that sense of belonging and connection between all students. We have an organization uh, that's called Amani. They started up uh, last year because they felt the need to create a new community. Um, they call it their home away from home. And they specifically focus on students of Black, African and Caribbean descent, but they are open to everyone. And that's also the way they communicate um, about their existence and about their events. Um, just one more addition, to be completely honest with you. Um, as a coach, I also feel that engagement comes and goes. Um, and it's not always easy to keep going with certain initiatives. Um, especially not these informal ones. Um, however, uh, in my opinion, I think the most important thing is that student-led initiatives uh, need to be in students' hands um, and they need to be wanted or needed by the students themselves. Um, it makes no sense to force an association upon the students uh, when they don't feel the need for it. So uh, I'm glad I could share this with you uh, and thank you for watching the video.